Manchester's interesting because we've got a biomedical science degree, we've got a neuroscience degree, we've got an anatomical science degree, so physiology has to find a niche within those areas. We offer a degree which is perhaps different to, to many other universities. We're offering a degree where there is an element of neuroscience, there is an element of, of sort of maths and physics, but we do mainly sort of systemic physiology and then looking at, at aspects of molecular physiology. I chose Manchester because the course in the first year is very broad, so you kind of get a feel of all the different disciplines in biology, but then in second year you start to specialise more. I just chose physiology because I'm generally more interested in the body than plants and animals. In our year, we've got a really small tutor group, so I feel like I've got an identity. Like when I go to tutorials, I know everyone, and it's like a really friendly atmosphere. Everyone's interested in the same sort of thing, especially in physiology, where there's only a few of us doing the course. Labs are really fun because we get to learn new techniques we never actually thought of using. We've put into cells which don't normally have an ion channel in them, an ion channel, and look how it it's uh, located in the cell so the wild type, the normal channel, goes to the plasma membrane and we can visualise that using a fluorescent uh, probe which is attached to the channel protein. We're using equipment which has been bought specifically, expensive equipment like the microscopes. These are used in, by research groups for their research activity but their pr priority is, is for use in practicals. Groups of students do an exercise project where they help, are involved in the design of that project, which it en enables them to, to really work out how we analyse a large data set. The practical that we're doing at the moment involves measuring blood pressure and volume of air breathed out uh, while you're doing exercise. You get rigged up to loads of things and then analyse gas and oxygen and carbon dioxide contents. It's loads of fun.